Hey, my name is Matt Jones, and I'm going to walk you through a social scam that tricks users and exploits a browser vulnerability in order to share malicious content on Facebook. And this scam works in two parts, the first of which we'll call share baiting, and the second is self-XSS. So share baiting, start with that. So I'm logged into Facebook as cow, uh, as you can see here, up here, cow, hey cow. And somehow Kyle has ended up on this web page. Maybe someone sent it to him a message or he saw it in his feed. And as you can see, it says 98% of people can't watch this video. And Kyle wants to see, All right, am I in the 2%? So Kyle clicks play to see. And it says share. He has to share it on Facebook before he can see this. So he clicks this. And it pops up a, a Facebook share dialog. So you can see Kyle's profile picture here. This is Facebook. This is one way that you share things legitimately on Facebook. And Kyle knows that it's going to post to his wall and all of his friends' home pages. And he says, yeah, that's okay. I want to share this because I have to see the video. So he clicks share, and it tells him it's visible on your wall and all your friends' home pages. And then this attack site will redirect in some way that the attacker will make more money. And if we go to Kyle's home page, we'll see that, indeed, he shared this link right here. And this is where the second part starts, self-XSS. So for this, we'll pop over to Chrome, where uh, Duck is logged in. And Duck is friends with Cal. So let's go to Cal's profile. So Duck is browsing Facebook and sees that Cal has posted this video and wants to see if he's in the 2%. So he clicks on this, and there's a video. And he goes ahead and clicks play. And he says, oh. Before I can watch this video, I have to do a security check. Well, it's annoying, but at least they're sorry about it, so I guess it's not that bad. So then Duck clicks here. And at this point, it becomes evident this isn't actually YouTube. This is a malicious Flash player that looks like YouTube. And it says, okay, Duck, go and select your address bar. This is where you normally type in the name of a website you want to go to or something you're searching for. And press J and then Control V. And what that does is paste in this malicious code. And this is where the browser vulnerability comes in. Uh, Chrome will execute code that you paste into your address bar like this in the context of the web page that you're on. So right now, Duck is on Facebook. He has been tricked into pasting in this code to his web browser. And the web browser has a bug that makes it execute that code when any user pastes it in. And there's really nothing Facebook can do about this. The, the browser is executing it, and it looks to Facebook as Facebook doesn't see it except the actions that it can take, and there's nothing that it can really do to stop this. So Duck hits Enter, and this starts happening. Now there's a reason I'm showing this to you in Chrome, and that's because Chrome and Safari are the only browsers that are really vulnerable to this. Uh, IE9 and Firefox both have protections that make this attack uh, not work. They don't have this browser vulnerability. Um, Chrome has done a little bit of work to make this better, but as you can see, it's still vulnerable. Um, so what's happening right now is Duck is, the, the malicious code is running as if it's Duck and posting spam onto all his friends' walls and then sending him to this page so that the scammer can make more money. And if we go back to Kao, we can see that Duck has posted these things, well, the malicious code has pretended to be Duck and posted these things because of the browser vulnerability in Duck's browser that let it execute this malicious code. And that's how one of these attacks works.